Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, welcome back to more Splatoon 2. Last time, we made our way through the whole entirety of the rest of the C line, completing them with unlocking the J line, and then we moved on over to the uh, D line, where we unlocked the H line as well, which seems to have one of the four things on it. And this time, well, we're going to be working our way through more of the D-Line. Starting off here with Mad Prop Station, we have to ride the propeller lifts to the goal. Seems our only option for a weapon this time around is a Splat Charger. So let's go ahead and go through here. And it seems our goal is going to be hitting the propellers and moving uh, these, moving the platform to where we can climb up. Oh dear. Oh, barnacles. Alright, there we go, back over here, and we need to, or, hmm, oh, that's what I need to do. Get that. Bring it over this way. Oh dear. Alright, let's try this again. Go ahead and shoot there. Shoot there. Go ahead and shoot that. I guess I'm not gonna even bother to try it for that. So let's go ahead and just move on. Alright, seems we're already at our final checkpoint. Even higher. Shoot. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. Ugh. I'm like really cutting it close. Shoot there, and there we go. Test complete.
All right, let's move on to D5, which we have to hit all seven eight ball switches at the all that eight ball station. All right, seems like the E-Later 4K is the recommended, so I guess we'll uh, take it. Oh, it's this one. I remember this one. We have limited ink, and we have to try to shoot or take care of all these switches. Well, actually, we don't entirely have limited ink. Uh, we just have... Um, Try that. Uh, okay, that didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to. Let's go ahead and try this one. That didn't work out either. This is our last shot, so we're probably gonna fail. Yep. There we go. That took longer than it needed to. But now we can move on. That finishes up the left side of that. So now we can get started on the right side. Here with what seems to be... What are you going to call Target Buster Station? Bust all the targets before the time runs out. Alright, so what are our options here? What is best? Okay, so it seems like the Octo Brush is the recommended one. So I'm just going to go... With stages like this, I just prefer to go with a recommended one. And you know what's best? The Octobrush, you can literally roll right over these things. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I've already failed that. Okay, so let's try this again. Come on! Come on. Damn it! Damn it! God, come on! There we go, finally, jeez. Alrighty, let's move on to D8, where we have to defend the orb. Girl Power Station. Oh, I remember this one. So we get the choice of a Splat Bomb, a Burst Bomb, and a Curling Bomb. All re rewards are the same. I'm just gonna go with the Burst Bomb. Hey. 
And it seems... That we have choices of weapons. I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm gonna go with the dualies. Alright, we have a lot of choices for specials as well. But yeah, we have to defend the orb from all the oncoming uh, onslaught of Octo... or, yeah, Octolings. Like so. Okay, low ink, that's bad. They're gonna destroy the orb. Yep, we're already screwed. Alright, so let's try something different. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll give the Slosher a try. Maybe bad at this weapon, but I might be able to utilize its, uh... I'd be able to utilize its quirks to hammer down the enemy. This person has a freaking stingray. There we go, Jesus. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and try to see what we can do here in Goose Station. That last one sucked. I hate girl power. <laughs> that is like one of the worst stages in the entirety of Octospansion. It's not that it's challenging per se, it's that you have to go in with a certain strategy in mind. It's very much built on... Uh, very much built on you, you have to play by your play style. You can't really adapt to anything. You just have to go with what your gut, like with what your gut knows, and don't try to overthink things. Alrighty. Anyway, looks like this area is primarily a jet inkjet state or level. Grab some fish eggs here. Here we get to a checkpoint. Let's go ahead and head over here. We're gonna have all these auto bombs or uh, octo bombs explode. And we'll keep moving. Make our way over to another checkpoint. Alright. Jump over. Go down. It looks like kind of had to go in the center there. And jump through. Here. Uh, okay. I don't know why that didn't work whatsoever. There we go. Alright, 
Let's go zip them through here. Get ourselves a nice double jump. Alright, we're gonna watch ourselves here. Sector armor for security. Take care of this last octocopter. There we go. Alright, and that gives us the path to the end of the test. Got our next one is D10, Labyrinth Station. We have to get to the goal. Recommend is the <laughs> the Brella. Screw that noise. I'm just going with the Dooleys. I will. N I refuse to use. Uh, I refuse to use the, um, umbrella. Alrighty, so, as you can see, we've kind of got, I guess, a bit of a labyrinth here. We have to make our way to the goal, which actually, if you recognize this, uh, this is actually a very neat thing. We are actually playing through the tutorial of Splatoon 2. Remember back in episode 1 when we started, uh, we started on that area, that one area, and we blasted off to Inkobolus Square. Uh, this is actually the area where that's taking place. It's kind of a neat little thing. I like that they turned the tutorial space that, you know, you went through to learn, relearn moves and stuff for the game as an actual level in Octo Expansion. kind of really gives a bit of uniqueness, I guess, to it. Let's go ahead and shoot. Okay, I don't think I can shoot that. Yeah, I see the grappling though. I'm just trying to get it. Oh, a bomb. Yeah, a bomb will range if it can actually, you know, get up there. There we go. Let me take care of you. Needs to be another piece of armor, actually, right there. Shoot you down. Go ahead and grab this piece of armor. Take you down. Now let's go ahead and move on to our final checkpoint. I believe this is actually one of the more trickier areas because of the uh, the elite octolings that are here. Plus, there's always the freaking sloshers that are hiding in the uh, background areas. Oh no! Of course, we have a umbrella. Go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to defeat him and defeat that. You. Nothing else? Alright, let's go ahead and just complete the level.
Alrighty, that completes the D-Line's mem, mem cakes. So I guess we can go get our reward for that. Alrighty, what do you give us? No visor replica. Interesting. You know, we've got one more level in the D-Line. I think we can just finish it off. It's D11. We have ink and wash station. We have to burst all of the targets with limited ink. Oh no. Oh, I remember this one. It's funny how it rec recommends the splat roller, but yet the rewards for like the rapid blaster is smaller. So I'm just gonna go with the rapid blaster because I just wanna beat the level. I remember which one this is. Well, I already lost this one. There we go, Jeebus. You can definitely tell we are getting into the thick of Octo Expansion, because these levels are getting um, more pain in the ass by the day. But anyway, that's the entirety of the D-Line. And with that, we're going to end things here. Next time on Splatoon 2, we're going to go ahead and start our way down on the F-Line, as we can't, haven't unlocked the E-Line yet, and I kind of just want to go in order here unlocking lines. I know we can come down here and technically do the G line to unlock the E line. But I think we'll save that till we actually focus down on the G line. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, cheer ups out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I will see you guys all later.